Spartacus! I'm 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 Spartacus! How's it going everyone? Today we're gonna be talking about Spartacus on 4K Ultra HD. This is the exclusive steelbook from Best Buy. It came out today. This is 1999, which is really great for a 4K title, let alone a steelbook. Uh, I heard really good things about it so far, so we'll be taking a look at the transfer and everything because uh, they have improved visuals and the audio track, so I'm always for that. That is the reason why I want to upgrade. For this title in particular, I actually didn't own it, so it just made it even more worthwhile picking up the 4K title, especially at this price. I know the older release came out a while ago and it's currently running at I think under $10 on Blu-ray. Now they did release this one uh, on Blu-ray as well, uh, the kind of remastered version of it along with the 4K and they did bump up the audio track on that one. Uh, that is right now running for $15. But um, for this really cool steelbook uh, and the 4K HDR uh, Dolby Vision, I decided, you know, five bucks more is definitely worth the upgrade. So let's take a look at this. We got our front right here. Uh, really cool design. I think this uh, steelbook stands out a little bit better than the previous Spartacus steelbook that came out. We got our spine and the J card. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, once you've spent 20 minutes trying to find something sharp to open the plastic packaging, um, this is what you get. Uh, you can remove the J card. Really awesome looking steel book. And then you have the back as well. Um, it's all matte, but it, there is a bit of gloss on it to make it shine a little bit. So when we open this thing up, we get our digital code, and then there you go. Got our 4K disc. Uh, let's see. And then right underneath it is the Blu-ray. So let's go ahead and take both of those out so we can see the back. So that is the background of the steel book. Love the color scheme, love the, the pop of the flames and the sword in the hand. Really stands out. I generally do not like steel books. They get dented really fast. Um, they're hard to take care of. but. Some of them, when they do come out, you really want to get them, and this one just stood out, and for the price, I think it's definitely worth it, let alone from the upgrades from the Blu-ray. So with that, let's move on to the TV screen, see what everything looks like, the subtitle features, language features, and uh, menu layout, as well as if it's worth upgrading, because it's an older film, a lot of people probably already have this in their collection, is it worth dishing out an extra 20 bucks if you already have this? Let's go onto the screen and find out. We are on the main menu of Spartacus on 4K. Let's dive right in and check out some of these features. So, for audio, we have English DTX track, a 7.1 audio track, which is already an improvement over the Blu-ray, uh, which is running a 5.1 track. Um, we have Spanish, some Asian languages, I don't know, uh, I'm going to say Korean, um, probably wrong, and Portuguese. Where's French at? That's, that's weird, that's the first time I'm seeing French not included. But uh, let's dive into subtitles. Uh, for subtitles, we have it in English. Oh, French is available now. Oh, they, they decided not to forget about them there. 
We have Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Korean again. I have no idea. And Portuguese. I'll let the people who know what language it is decide. And tell me in the comment section what language that is, because I have no idea. Uh, let's jump right into bonus features. Let's see, we got quite a few bonus features. Now, I don't know if this has actually been transferred over from previous releases or not, if there's any additional features. Um, the film just came out. I haven't actually had a chance to check, but let's take a look at how long some of these are. I think I can remember them, but when I can... So our first feature, I Am Spartacus, A Conversation with Kirk Douglas, uh, is about 10 minutes long. Let's move on to Restoring Spartacus. Let's see how long that one is. Those who are about to die salute you. Spartacus has to be... So that one is also just under 10 minutes long. Uh, let's go on to archival interviews. Who revolted against the power of Rome and So both archival interviews are about three minutes each. There's nothing really there. Uh, so let's continue. We have some deleted scenes. The deleted scenes are just under eight minutes long. Let's move on to behind the scenes. So behind the scenes are five minutes long. So far, not a whole lot going on. Uh, wish some of these bonus features were longer. We have the theatrical trailer there. So lastly, let's take a look at vintage newsreels. The first overseas premiere of UI screen epic Spartacus is the most brilliant event on London's show business calendar for the year. Among the many outstanding figures present is Mrs. Condit, Prime Minister Nehru's sister. So that was about five minutes. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot going on in the bonus features department. Not even anything adding up to an hour. So they more than likely just transferred everything from the previous release on here. Didn't add anything. Now on the J card it does say that there are 12 additional minutes because included in this disc is the extended version. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a new feature or not. You'll have to tell me if that is or not. But uh, 12 additional minutes. So that about wraps up my unboxing of Spartacus on 4K. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. If you plan on purchasing it, do so now while you still can. I think this is a really great deal. From the scenes that I flipped around, everything really does look great. It's sharper. There is still some grain as most older films will continue to have. But uh, I didn't own the Blu-ray, so I can't compare and kind of give you a review. But uh, I definitely do think it's worth owning. In terms of upgrading, if you really want to have the best audio and picture quality, from what I've read, I think it is worth the upgrade. If you really like the movie, like I said with Jaws, go ahead and get it. I think it is worth the upgrade, but um, if you're satisfied with your Blu-ray, that's fine too because it's a pretty decent Blu-ray from what I've heard. But uh, I think this is a really great chance to get a movie in its best form and a really cool looking steelbook if you're into that kind of stuff. So I'm going to leave it right there. If you guys can hit that like button down below, 
comment your thoughts on this 4K release, if you're going to be picking it up, if you're going to be upgrading. Please comment that down below and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time for more unboxings, reviews, and movie news.